guys so today's video is a friends makeup revolution collab review and makeup look and then also like a drugstore makeup product tutorial whatever so i'm using all the makeup revolution friends and then i also have some other makeup revolution things that i bought and then i'm just gonna use a ton of drugstore products one or two that may not be drugstore but most of them are so if you want to see how i got this look how i did it then just keep watching we're jumping right into it so the other day i was in target i'm just minding my own business i'm of course about to walk through the makeup section like i need any more makeup but like you you know how it is and i saw on the little end the friends and makeup revolution collaboration and i knew that they had collaborated i knew that there was a collection but i hadn't like seen it anywhere and then i'm just strolling through my local target and there it is and so of course i had to buy some come on i got this rachel eyeshadow palette and i'm gonna be doing a look with this i'm gonna be doing like a review slash like drugstore makeup tutorial most of the things i'm going to be using are drugstore however there are some things i don't have that are or i don't have certain things that are drugstore so bear with me but this is the rachel eyeshadow palette sorry if you hear my son he's eating dinner and he's very expressive when he's eating foodie likes has a little protective film on it i actually did not want I had to open it the other day because I accidentally dropped it on the way to this room and I had to open it and make sure that like none of the eyeshadows broke and luckily they didn't and so this is the eyeshadow palette and then the top has a mirror on it which is actually pretty good I think this palette was $12 and so we've got this really cute range right here I grabbed this one because this had colors that I would use probably like every day and so each one has like a really cute name that of course has to do with the show friends and then there was phoebe and monica that had their own little palettes and then there was a one big friends palette then i love the packaging i didn't buy it because it has a bunch of vibrant colors that i would literally never use i probably only would have bought it for the packaging but i did not do that um, it has their purple door with like the yellow little frame. So cute. I had to resist the urge to buy it just for the packaging, but I was like, I'm never going to use that. So no. And then they also had lip glosses and each lip gloss was named after each character. And I grabbed these two. This one's Rachel, which is a clear gloss. Every girl or guy needs a clear gloss in their collection. And then on the top, you see like the central perk logo and then this one was chandler which is a really cute pink color and then the turkey with the glasses um i haven't opened these yet either because i really wanted it to be like a genuine review and like reaction to whenever i tried using them so i'm gonna open them I have all types of trash I should have opened these before but it's okay all right and then i just took that off i'm really happy that's actually on the applicator and not just on the plastic i was gonna get so upset if i took off the plastic and it was just on the plastic I'm trying to look for the little like there we go So we got that for the most part off. OMG. I'm not even gonna worry about that right now. I'm not gonna try spending like half the video taking it off, but at the same time, it bothers me. All right, we got it. <laughs> so this is like a pinky color. Lip glosses are usually kind of sticky, so I'm hoping that, ooh. Oh, wow. Oh, wow. She's pigmented. 
that is a really pigmented lip gloss. I'm not usually one for pigmented lip glosses, but I would probably like just throw this on, especially if I'm wearing like natural makeup. And then of course this is like a clear one, so you're obviously not gonna see it. But I might, yeah, clear, put some on, you can't see it. I also got a new ring light. I have a ring light right here to help with the lighting. I'm gonna put some on just real fast. Ooh, it smells like coconuts. Ooh, this is a really good dupe for Kapari. If you, the brand Kapari has this lip balm and this feels, tastes, and smells exactly like it. Oh yeah, I like that a lot. I'm not sure if this has any like moisturizers in it or anything. I'm not sure, but I really, wow. I really like that. I'm grabbing the makeup wipe. Okay, let's wipe that ish off. That's the last one. Okay, I have like a whole new pack. I use Billy makeup wipes. If you use Billy, like they have the best razors. I love their razors. And then this is the packaging for, I love them. Best makeup wipes, best razors. I think I've used their lotion once or twice. I did order their shaving cream to use. All right, I'm just gonna put all this trash in the room. It's kind of stressing me out. Okay, so the first five minutes of me trying to unwrap my lip glosses and all that crap. All right, so we got that going and then I also bought, I bought a few more things, but they are not a part of the Friends collection. This is just from Makeup Revolution. I got this highlighter and this highlighter, it like caught my eye. I first saw it at a different Target. I saw it from like across the makeup section. I was like, oh my God, that is so pretty, but I didn't grab it. And then I saw it at my local Target that I usually go to. And I was like, I have to buy that. It's this. I really love like the texture. I showed James and he was like, why does it look like that? And I was like, so people can see like what it looks like and like see it bouncing off of different textures and angles and all that. And he was like, okay, whatever, men. So, mm. Ooh, oh, I like that. This is like the type of highlighter I usually go for, like the, I really like the rose gold pinkiness because I do have a little bit of a pink undertone. I like that a lot in my highlighters. And the, it's really smooth, it's not like gritty, which I really like, especially like drugstore makeups, it's really soft. A lot of drugstore makeups can be like super chalky and like the fallout, like there's not a lot of fallout at all with this. I really like that. Like I said, I'm gonna be like using these, but I just kind of wanted to do some swatches first. I'm not going to do swatches with the eyeshadow palette because I kind of want to see how it is when I'm putting it on. And then the last thing that I got is this blush palette. Of course, there's some freaking tape on it. Let me take this off. Okay. And I have always wanted a blush palette, but blush palettes are relatively expensive. This one I think was $15, which isn't bad at all. And then this, I think they had a, I, wanna, I think they had another blush palette that had different colors or maybe I'm just thinking of like a contour palette. I don't know, but I really like it because you know, you, got, you have different moods. Like, what if you wanna have like a corally blush or a pretty pink blush or like, I really like these sparkly ones. I probably would not use them unless I'm in like a really like wild mood, which I've never really am with makeup. I am so boring. But yeah, those are what I bought and I'm gonna, I'm so excited. I'm doing a mostly drugstore makeup tutorial. So I'm just gonna get started. And I use the e.l.f. Jelly Pop Dewy Primer, which is a drugstore primer. And I super love it. I love the smell, the texture. It does what I want a primer to do. Makes my face feel nice and tacky. Please excuse the way my hair looks right now. I would have curled it, but I really didn't feel like it. I blow dried it last night. 
and so it's like super soft and falling everywhere and you know what it's fine everything's fine all right we got that prime going i like to like feel my face afterwards make sure it feels nice and tacky and sometimes you can feel certain spots that don't have enough okay a good foundation not even a good foundation a amazing drugstore foundation is l'oreal infallible and the fact that i bought this for like six dollars at walmart and i was expecting it to not match me and it did i don't know why my skin tone is so hard to match and i think it's because i have a neutral undertone but it's enough anyways it matches it the formula is really good and I've also heard that this is like a dupe for, I have never used it before, so I cannot confirm this, the Estee Lauder Double Wear Foundation. Like I said, I've never used it, so I don't know. But the finish is like, it's supposed to be matte, but it's not terribly matte, like so matte that your face feels like a chalkboard. Preston got his first haircut today. And he looks so dapper. And I just, this foundation for being a drugstore foundation, so good. The froze. So, putting a little bit more on the Beauty Blender and putting some on because the Beauty Blender soaks up most of the product. And just making sure I got that blended really well i'm just doing my usual foundation routine same steps same same thing just different products but as i was saying and it doesn't match my neck quite a lot because i use some uh instant sun i actually had like a whole fiasco with that i posted on facebook and instagram that i used a gradual tanner and it made me look so streaky. I was like, why do I even bother? And I have no problem with being pale at all. Like I've kind of learned to accept my paleness, but I wanna have fun, you know? Like, hmm, what, what would I look like tan? And yeah, it was just this whole thing. And then I went to Target yesterday and I got the Jurgens Instant Sun. I'm using the L'Oreal Infallible Full Wear Concealer and I've used, I use this all the time. I actually just found my shape tape. And I'm going to start using that again. But anyways, I went to Target. Got the Instant Sun. Put that on over it yesterday. And then I took a shower. It doesn't look as bad, but oh my god, it was terrible. James kept calling me a zebra. Because <laughs> I was just so streaky. Of course, I should have known because I woke up the next morning and it was just like, I guess I had some false expectations. I didn't think it was going to be as bad. And then I was like, oh my God, I'm so streaky. And then James, he goes, I told you that was going to happen. And I'm like, what do you know about instant sun or gradual tanner? Like you're a dude, like what do you, you know anything about this? He's like, well, I knew it was going to be streaky. And I'm like, okay, Mr. Know it all. I have to actually do my concealer and like I can't put it all on my face at once because the one thing about this concealer is that it dries really fast so I have to do it part by part because if I don't and I try blending it I will like leave a mark of where the concealer was before you blend it out so that's why I'm doing it in like sections I don't think the Tarte Shape Tape is like that though. I used it yesterday and I don't think I have that problem. I actually realized that with this concealer when I did this, I put it on my forehead and I tried blending it out and it just like left that mark 
no matter how much I tried blending it. And I was like, wow, that's awesome. I love that. And then sometimes, like, I don't know if it's just like the texture on my forehead. Sometimes it just like will not blend the way I want it to. I will take the bottom of my beauty blender and just do this and kind of like blend it out a little more because it has like some leftover foundation on it. And it'll kind of help it blend it a little more. I'll do the same thing down here. And like I said, there are some things that I don't have drugstore. I tried finding a translucent powder at Target yesterday. Could not find one. So I am going to be using the Hourglass Veil Translucent Powder. Yeah. And I'm just going to do the same thing I always do. I'm going to set it on my under eye. I like to set it in the places that crease first. On my eyelid. So when I put eyeshadow on, it doesn't like look choppy. It's like a smooth application. And then sometimes I'll grab a brush later and put more of the powder on my eyelid just to be safe in case I missed any spots so I don't get like this one rough patch. I like to put it under my nose because I hate having that crease right there. And then my parentheses all down here. This lip gloss seems to be lasting pretty well. You know, I haven't really touched it. And then on my forehead in between my eyebrows. And then this is such a weird like pan for translucent powder. So I have to like close a lid and then shake more out because it's an H. It's not just like an open container, which is smart. But again, at the same time, it gets kind of annoying. <laughs> I take the bottom, my beauty blender, dip it in there and just press it onto my face and just do the same thing all over get my nose my upper lip and there's any place I miss a lot it's my upper lip and I don't notice until like after my makeup is already done and I'm like, crap. Oh well. Just make sure that's good. A good drugstore um, translucent powder. I think L'Oreal Unfallible actually has a translucent powder that's good. The Cody's Airspun is really good. The flashback is crazy though, so try not to use flash photography if you're having pictures taken of you. It has insane flashback. It makes you look like a ghost. Or like that one picture of James Charles. That is easily one of the scariest pictures I've ever seen. Okay. I'm just making sure. Got my corner of my eye. Lately, I've like, I don't know what's been going on. Like when I go to do my eyeshadow, I will have like chunks of concealer or foundation that just were not blended and i'm like um excuse me Stop. all right so actually i'm not gonna close it all the way i'm gonna like feel around my face to make sure that we well, did that to feel that there's not any missed spots so that when I put on like my bronzer and whatnot later, it doesn't look choppy. I could kind of tell that one didn't have any, that part didn't have powder on it because it was shiny. All right, I think we're good. The mirror is behind you, so don't be alarmed. I had a Chick-fil-A chocolate chunk cookie before I came in here, so that's probably why I'm in a good mood. <laughs> Their cookies are the bomb. And then, I actually do have a drugstore eyebrow. Just a second. I'm going to be using 
the is it NYX 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 whatever I call it NYX Tame and Frame Tinted Brow Pomade. I don't usually use pomades, so and I'm doing this because it's a good drugstore. Um, this is actually a good dupe for Anastasia Beverly Hills, and I am going to use this spoolie that is just really lit. It's been through it. Ew, maybe not. She's stiff. You're gonna have to go in the garbo, girl. It's not a good look. Hmm. I'm gonna have to use this one. I've never used this brush, so I'm actually kind of scared. Okay, because this brush is kind of soft. Oh well, everything's fine. It will be okay. All right, let's get this situated. There's too much going on. It's stressing me out. All right, I'm gonna grab this. My handy dandy compact with my, it's actually my bronzer, but has a huge mirror in it. Oh my, I don't know what's going on. So I'm using this and this is in the shade Espresso. Oh my God, this brush is kind of scaring me right now. Okay. All right, yeah, we're just gonna have to be really careful about where this brush goes. It's not too bad. I've used this pomade before. It's really good, it's just that this brush is kind of scaring me. I grabbed a lot of product though, jeez. Oh man, these brows are gonna be insanely dark. It doesn't look bad. actually matches my hair really well. It's been a while since I've used this stuff. I used to religiously use the Anastasia Beverly Hills pomade. Stuff is amazing. But your eyebrows are like the most tedious part of your makeup. My least favorite thing to do. I think I'm pretty, I'm pretty sure I've said that before. Okay, on to the next brow. Nerve I start in the middle of the eyebrow. Maybe I shouldn't do that right in front of the camera. So if I so if I start on the edge, it doesn't. It's pretty hard to mess up when you're doing it in the middle of your eyebrow. That's what I'm trying to say. Can't spit the words out though. I don't know what's going on. too bad. I expected that to be a lot worse than what it looks like now. All right, we're looking good. Okay. All right, I'm not gonna mess with them anymore. I like to brush them through just to make sure that there's not any like excess and that it's blended in well. I like having the front part of my eyebrow to have a little less product so it looks a little bit more on the natural side. Obviously, it's not going to look natural, but I like to look a little bit more natural-ish. All right. I don't know why my eyebrows look so far apart. Maybe they actually are, and I just kind of live like this every day, and I don't notice, but whatever. All right. So that is that with my eyebrows. Um, I'm going to have to use the Anastasia Beverly Hills Clear Brow Gel. But that's later. So eyebrows are done, and now we're going to move on to the eyeshadow. I'm going to have to grab my brushes. Right here. Okay. Oh, my. Stepping on the trash, it's fine. So, we are going to use this palette. I'm so excited about using. All right, we have some good like transition and like crease shades and like, 
I really like what we got going on in here. So, let me grab me a brush. I need to clean these brushes already. Actually, I'm not good at cleaning up my makeup, my makeup brushes. calling Preston. We call him Bubba, Bubby, Bubba Lub. Literally every single name that you could possibly think of. All right, so I'm going to go in with the shade Dinosaur, and I'm just going to use the mirror that's on this palette. Having off the excess. From what I see on the, there's not a lot of fallout, but we will see. And I'm just going on my crease a little bit above almost on my eyebrow bone it's applying really well i like that's a really good transition shade she's pretty all right doing the same thing shade dinosaur in the same spot on the other eye that going all the way across. All right, cool. Now, hmm. what shade do I want to do? I think I'm going to do Barney's. This shade right here. It's like a mauvey, purplish brown color or whatever. I'm just gonna go a little bit lower. This is probably gonna be di directly in the crease. Super smooth. Payoff is pretty good. It's not like crazy, crazy pigmented, but you can still see it. I think it's like a good happy medium. It's buildable. Like you don't want to just like first time you put it on there, it's super dark. So it's a definitely buildable. You could just keep going over it until you get the desired darkness or shade that you want. Doing the same thing over here. I, think I did a little too much over here. It's fine. We're doing it in the crease. Yeah, I did more over here than I did on that, so okay. That's fine. We'll just do more on this side. This is like a really pretty like mauve color. Fluffy brush. This is the JH30. This is just like a really big fluffy brush. Doesn't have anything on it. I'm just gonna make sure everything is seamless. Same thing over here. better both blended out pretty good yes. okay I think that's better We got that going. Now, <sighs> I 
I think I might do the shade Crush in the outer corner, maybe. But I might grab this. This is a JH40 brush. Just gonna grab it, put it on here. This one, the shade has like a slight, slight shimmer in it. But sometimes, and I'm putting, stamping this on the outer corner. Sometimes they'll do that with certain shades that aren't as smooth as they want to. So they'll put like the smallest, smallest amount of shimmer in it just to make it a little bit smoother. And these shades, like I said, are really buildable. Like they're not extremely pigmented, but you can work with them. And then I'm gonna do the same thing. Stamp it over here. Oh, I didn't tap off the excess, but that's okay. I think we might just leave that at that. Yep. Didn't even need to go in there with more. And so I'm going to go back with the JH32 brush, grab some, I think I might grab some dinosaur. This one right here. And then blend this brown out with that. Part is like not wanting to blend, girl. Better get it together. I'm not quite sure what's happening right now. It's blending, but it looks like it just does not want to move. as good as it's gonna get. I'm gonna do the same thing over here, get dinosaur, blend this one out. The faces you make when doing your makeup. Cute. This brown shade is like, she does not want to budge. I am doing my best. It's okay guys, we'll get through this. That might just be where we, we honestly just probably have to deal with it. It's fine. Everything's fine. I kind of wanted to focus this on the outer corner anyways, so we'll act like that was on purpose. All right, grab this big fluffy brush again and just blend everything out. All right, so the outer corner isn't as blended as I want it to be, but that is okay. I don't have all the time in the world, so I'm not gonna sit here and try to blend it out. Um, so I think I wanna, I either wanna go in with this on a break or chip. Hmm, I don't know. Let's do swatch. Ooh. Ooh. All right. This one is chip and that one is on a break. You can't really see it. Yeah. Hmm. Mm, I don't know. That gold chip color doesn't look like it would really be the vibe. Ooh, that one does. That one's tag. This one. I think I might do that one. All right. We're going in with tag and I'm using my finger and putting it on my lid. Ooh, I like this color. 
she's pretty oh yeah I like that a lot That is so pretty. I like that. Girl. There we go. Get a little bit closer. I like that a lot. That is super pretty. OMG. All right. Let me get this nonsense off my fingers. All right. So that's probably just what we're going to do for eyeshadow. I am going to grab this big fluffy brush again and blend everything out just so it's seamless. This would be like a cute date night eyeshadow look. Ooh, girl, I like her. She can stay. Let's see here. All right, I'm gonna get whatever is left on this brush and put it on my lower lash line. Like a super dark lower lash line i might mix dinosaur and barney together all right that's good just grab a little bit of both put it in your lash lower lash line boom she's looking good all right that is the eyeshadow look that we are going to stick with. And now for eyelashes. So there is two drugstore um, brands. I actually haven't used this one in a really long time. I think I only used it once and I didn't like it, but a lot of people fangirl over it. And it is the L'Oreal Telescopic Mascara. People freak out over this mascara. Apparently it makes your eyelashes look super long. That is the brush, super thin, gets all in your lashes, all that good stuff. But this lash, or lash, this mascara is one of my favorites. It's the Essence Lash Princess. I actually got this off of Amazon. It has a somewhat thinner brush. I hate, hate applicators that are enormous. Can't stand them. They like freak me out because I'm like going to stab myself in the eyeball with them all right that's enough i am going to curl my lashes and i could put lashes on i don't want to because it is 8 18 at night don't really want to put lashes on so i'm not going to i might try the l'oreal telescopic again i'll do that but I am going to use the CoverGirl Lash Blast Amplif Amplify Primer first. I'm going to go in there. Just slap that on my eyelashes. And then I like to let it dry a little bit before I put it on. I think it works better when it's a little bit dry that's just me though might not be totally true okay so then while we're waiting on that to dry i am going to put some of this clear brown gel that is not drugstore it's from anastasia beverly hills on my eyebrows make sure those girls are locked in place there we go My drugstore bronzer. My Beffrey Annie put me onto this bronzer. It is Wet n Wild bronzer, and it's called Sunset Striptease. It's actually a really pretty color. I like it a lot. It has a little bit of a shimmer in it, so it's not like. too shimmery like it not it could double as a highlighter and bronzer but am I gonna do that no so 
I think I'm gonna grab a different brush. Let's see. I give you the sad brush. The handle broke off, but it's a good bronzer brush because it likes it's like it gets in there nice. So I'm gonna put some on here. She's a little on the orange side. That's fine. Everything's fine. Can't turn back now. It's not too bad. Let me grab this Morphe brush that I usually use. Not too bad this side. Girl. I might have to grab some translucent powder and fix that up because that is not a good look. Not looking cute. Not for me. All right, I'm going to grab this brush to use to contour my nose. So I'm going to go under my jawline, make sure we got all that. Oh my god, that looks so bad. Oh my god. We have got to fix that. So, real fast, grabbing some translucent powder. This is called veiling. You're just smacking that all there. You can do this if, like... You go a little too hard on your bronzer like I did, and it kind of like makes it look a little bit softer. Not like you just made the worst mistake ever. I'll just go over all the parts where you made an oopsie. It doesn't look that bad, but I definitely don't like how orange it is. All right, so now we are going to move on to mascara. We're going to use the L'Oreal Telescopic Mascara, and I'm going to use this compact again. I actually really like this eyeshadow. It's cute. Got some on my skin, that's okay. second layer dang this mascara is not bad why did I not like it before what is my problem Dang, girl! Whose lashes are those? Oh my! I am shooketh. Alright, mascara. Done. Now we are going to move on to the blush. I'm excited. Alright, we got our blushes. I think I. Where's my blush brush? 
gosh. There she is. All right. Kind of want to do this one. So we're going to do that. Oh my. Jeez. That is some pink, pink blush. Good lord. Oh. <laughs> oh my god. All right. I'm going to have to use that translucent powder again. Because I was not expecting it to be that pigmented. Holy crap. Put some on my nose. Oh my god. Oh wow. Jeez. Okay. Grabbing some more translucent powder. Holy moly. What a wild ride. Those girls are pigmented. All right. Blush is done. And then we're going to do highlighter. And I'm using my highlighter brush from Morphe and grabbing the Makeup Revolution highlighter. And it is in Dare to Divulge. Ooh. I'm going to put some on here. And down the nose. Yes, queen. Okay. And then what else are we going to do? We're going to do the inner corner highlight and the brow highlight. And we are going to be using... We're gonna use on a break. It's really pretty gold color. I usually don't use golds for my inner corner, so. Not bad. And then eyebrow brush. Here. Not as like popping as I want it to be, but that's okay. All right. And now I'm going to do the Chandler lip gloss. It's pretty pink. None of that clear lip gloss is really on there. Hold on, let me. a little sippy sip oh <laughs> that happened last time i should have expected that okay This is like a Barbie pink lip gloss. I have a few people in mind that I know would wear this. I mean, I would wear it too, but it's a lot pinkier than I thought it was going to be. Don't mind me getting on the camera. Sorry. All right. And then we're getting our Wet n Wild Natural Finish Setting Spray. And then just... Okay. 
And that is the finished look. I hope you guys like it. That setting spray is just not, it literally squirted all over my face and now there's marks on my forehead. Love that. Okay, that is the finished look. I hope you guys like it. I definitely recommend these products. I like the eyeshadow palette. They're buildable. The fallout isn't bad at all. Super like it. The lip glosses I really like. Definitely, this is like a Kapari dupe. Really good. Highlighter's good. Blush palette's good. Yeah. So, that is that on that. I hope you guys liked it. Please like and subscribe if you like it. If not, that's okay. But thank you.